Today I'll be telling about the Stalin integration. Introduction to vector line integration. Vector line integration in mathematics refers to the calculation of accumulation of a vector field's value as they are traced along a specific curve or a path in three-dimensional space. This involves computing the dot product between the vector field and the tangent vector of the curve and then integrating this product over the curve's parameter range to determine the net effect of the vector field along the path. Vector line integration involves breaking down the curves into a small segments and summing up the contributions from each segment. It is an important tool in physics and engineering for analyzing quantities such as work, flow, and circulation. Vector line integration is a mathematical concept used to calculate the total value of vector field along a curve or a path. The term path integral, curve integral, and curvilinear is used as well. Although that is typically reversed for the line integrals in the complex plane. The function to be integrated may be scalar field or a vector field. This is the formula. F represents vector and dr represents vector. C represents path along which the integral integration is performed. Fundamental theory of line integrals. The fundamental theory of line integrals states that if the vector field f is a gradient of scalar function f, then the value, then the line integral of f along any curve c depends only on the endpoints of the curve. This theorem allows us to evaluate line integrals by finding a potential function for f denoted by dou f and using f to compute the integrals. The fundamental theory of line integrals simplifies the calculations of line integrals in certain cases. This is the formula for fundamental theory of line integrals, where f vector is dou f. Properties of vector line integration. Vector line integration in mathematics has several important properties. Firstly, linearity. The integrals of the sum vector function is the sum of integrals of the individual functions. Path independence. It is also known as conservative field. If the vector field f is the gradient of a scalar function, then the line integrals of f along closed path is zero. This property is crucially in conservation in conservative vector field. Reparameterization in variance. The value of line integral is independent of the parameterization of the curve as long as the orientation of curve is preserved. Additive of paths. If, if a curve is divided into segments, the line, in, the line integrals over entire curve is the sum of line integrals over the individual segments. Reverse path. Reversing the direction of integrals, changing the orientation of curves, changes the sign of line integrals. Mathematically, if RT transverse a curve in opposite direction, then integral f into dr is equals to minus integral f into dr. Estimation and bounds. Line integrals can be bounded to estimate their values. The magnitude of line integrals is less than or equal to the product of maximum length of curve and the max maximum magnitude of vector field over the curve. Vector line integrals theorem. Green's theorem or Stokes theorem and the divergence theorem relate the line integrals to surface integrals and volume integrals, providing powerful tools for solving variety of problems in physics and engineering. These properties are fundamentals in understanding and manipulating vector line integration, making them applicable across various mathematics and scientific disciplines. Applications of vector line integration. Vector line integration has various applications in physics and engineering. It is used to calculate work done by force along a path, where force is the vector field and the path is curve. It is also employed to calculate the circulations of fluid flow along the cross flow. Techniques for evaluating vector line integration. 
There are several techniques for evaluating vector and integration, including direct computation and parameterization and the use of symmetry. Direct computation involves evaluating the line integration by substituting the components of vector field and the curve into a single integral expression. Parameterization approach involves expressing the curve as a vector function and integrating over the parameters. Examples for vector line integration. Example one is to calculate the line integrals of integration cf dot dr along curve c is given by rt is equals to t comma t square and t cube where f is equals to x square y square and z square. Example two is to evaluate the line integrals of integration cf dot dr along a closed loop where f vector is minus y comma x and c is, is a circle of radius two centered at the origin. Example three is to determine the work done by force field f is equals to two x y and x square comma z, z cube along the path c by d r t is equals to t comma t square comma t cube where the where t ranges from zero to one. Conclusion. Vector line integration is a powerful mathematics tool for analyzing vector field along curve. It, it allows us to calculate important physical quantities such as work, flow, work, flow and circulation. Understanding the fundamental concepts and techniques and applications of vector line integration is crucial in various fields of science and engineering. Thank you.